Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to make baked spaghetti. It's a three layer casserole with Italian flavors. We've got the spaghetti, we've got a delicious ground beef bolognese that I'm going to show you how to make. And then we've got a three layer of cheese. We're going to combine it all together to make a delicious casserole. Y'all ready? Y'all come down here and let's put this one together. First step is we're going to cook one pound of spaghetti. Now I've already got my water to a boil. We're going to go ahead and season with some salt. Get that flavored. About a tablespoon. And then we're going to add in the spaghetti. Now you want to stir the spaghetti for about 30 seconds to a minute. That'll keep it all from sticking. We're going to cook this for 10 minutes. That will get it nice and al dente so it can finish cooking in the oven once we get everything put together. While the spaghetti is cooking, I'm going to come over here and show you how to make that delicious bolognese sauce. It's really easy to make and it's very flavorful for this dish. So we're going to get started in a large skillet. I'm going to add about one and a half pounds of ground beef. You can also mix this if you want and use half ground beef, half sausage, or just use all sausage. Whatever you have on hand. I'm going to cook this on medium high heat. I'm going to start breaking it up with my meat chopper, or you can use your wooden spoon. Now while the ground beef is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and add a green bell pepper that I diced up. Now that's optional, but I love that in a bolognese. The green bell pepper takes a little bit longer to cook than the onion, so we're going to go ahead and get that started. All right, let's go ahead and start chopping up our onion. This bolognese sauce I use a lot in a lasagna, spaghetti and meat sauce. You want to pour it over ravioli. Mm, it's a really good one for just about anything Italian. I took both ends off of the onion and I'm just peeling off that outer layer. I'm just going to cut the onion in half. Just follow the lines and slice it. Just gonna turn them over and then just run a knife through it and we'll have our dices. There we go. Let's go ahead and add that to our peppers and the ground beef. All right. Start blending that together. Okay, I'm gonna finish browning up the ground beef and softening down those peppers and onions. And then at that time, it should be ready for the spaghetti to be drained. We'll do that. And then I'm gonna bring you back. I love my little strainer. You can just clip it on any size pot and then drain all your excess water out or liquid. You can even attach this to a bowl and do the same thing. All right, once you drain your spaghetti, you just want to leave it in your pot. I'm just going to add a little bit of oil to keep it from sticking. I will link this down below in the description box or you can find it in my Amazon store link also in the description box of this video. The ground beef is browned and the peppers and onions are softened down. If you have any excess grease that you want to get out, you can just push it off to the side. And you can use my old trick with the paper towels. It's just a really quick way to get some grease out of your pan. Just fold them up, push it in, and let it absorb any of the excess. And then you can just toss that. 
All right, let's go ahead and flavor this up. One tablespoon of butter. Yeah, that's how I like my bolognese. We're gonna sprinkle in some Italian seasoning, probably around two teaspoons. We gotta give it that flavor and lots of it. All right, I love some minced garlic. Got about one and a half teaspoons of that. We can put that in. Now I'm gonna add in a little bit of white sugar, probably about a couple of teaspoons. That will help cut the acidity of the tomato base that we'll put in. We got some black pepper, quarter of a teaspoon, and then take life with a grain of salt. <laughs> we are going to add in about a quarter teaspoon. We'll flavor it later if we need to. All right, we've got one jar. It's 24 ounces of your favorite pasta sauce. Now I'm using the traditional sweet basil. Mmm, yes. Okay, I filled the jar a quarter way up. Just going to place the lid on, give it a shake, get all that excess sauce out, and we'll add that. All right, stir it up. Mmm, smells good. Make sure every now and then you go back to your spaghetti and just kind of stir it up while it's sitting there so it doesn't all stick together. Grab a spoon, give it a taste, and see if you need to adjust any of the seasonings. That's my favorite part right here. Don't burn your mouth. Mmm, that is good. Mmm. All right, let's go ahead and turn off the burner. We're gonna let this sit here and we are going to start that delicious three cheese blend that we're gonna use for this spaghetti bake. In a medium bowl, we're gonna start with one cup of cottage cheese. Now you can substitute this with ricotta cheese if you wanna do that. I'm using a quarter cup here, so I'm gonna go in four times. Now to that, we're going to add one cup of mozzarella cheese, nice and shredded. And I'm probably gonna, I'm probably going to overtop it. Put that in. Now I've got some Parmesan cheese that's in the block and I'm just gonna go ahead and shred in a whole bunch. All right, y'all wanna see that in slow-mo? Just take a spatula and we're gonna mix it all together. Now if you want, you can take a big spoon and give this a try. <laughs> I'm just kidding, we're being funny. Okay, that is all mixed together. We've got our bolognese meat mixture. We have our cooked spaghetti that we cooked till al dente. And then we have our three cheese blend. We're gonna put this all into a nine by 13. I'm gonna spray it with some non-stick cooking spray. That'll help get the sides and everything so that way the spaghetti doesn't stick. All right, let's start layering. We're gonna start with half of that meat mixture. We're gonna place it right at the bottom of the dish. Evenly spread it out. Mmm, smells delicious. I love that bolognese sauce. Half of our spaghetti. Kind of shake it loose if it's stuck together a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's all in the layering of this. Let's bring over the cheese mixture and we're going to place it all over the spaghetti. It'll be easier if you just take it and just kind of spoon it all over like that. 
all of the cheese mixture on this layer right here. It's almost like a simplified version of lasagna, but you're just using spaghetti noodles. And then I'm going to spread it out evenly so that everybody gets a bite of that cheese mixture. Let's see, down here. Just keep it all nice and even. Let's see if we got any more. Yep, a big dollop here. Where, where, where? Right here. There we go. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Bring the spaghetti back over and we're going to layer it on top of the cheese. Yeah, there's a method to this. We used all of that spaghetti. There we go. All right, we got that delicious meat mixture. We're going to pour that all over the top of the spaghetti. Here, let's turn it around like that. Make sure you cover all the spaghetti with the sauce. Be nice and flavored. Y'all, this will make great leftovers. And if you have leftovers that you want to freeze, yes, freeze it into portions though. I would portion it out into individual servings. That spaghetti will absorb the sauce. One more thing, mozzarella cheese right across the top. I'd say a good eight ounces. Yeah, that looks good. Right there. Boom. Ooh, does that look delicious? My oven is preheated at 350 degrees. We're going to place this spaghetti bake casserole in there for 30 minutes or so until that cheese is nice and melted and golden brown. I'll be back. I've pulled this out of the oven. I let it sit for about 10 minutes just to kind of pull itself all together. It smells amazing. Mm. All right, y'all ready for the reveal? There it is. Ooh. Mm. There we go. As solid could be in the pan when you let it sit, pull itself together. Look at that. Let me grab a fork. I'm going to give this a try for you. Mm. That is delicious. I love that cheesy middle. It almost melted through. It is so delicious. Y'all let me know, cottage cheese or ricotta, which way did you go for the middle of that cheese mixture for this? All right. The spaghetti is so tender. Make sure you do that al dente so it can finish cooking. And that meat sauce bolognese, mmm, delicious. All right, you guys, let me know what you think of my spaghetti bake casserole. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. I'll see y'all on the next episode.